Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this let's play on Star Control Origins, where we just had a little crash. Not sure what the hell happened there, but anyways, ooh. So I assume that at some point... Okay, so these... I just noticed that this colony thing is also in here. Hmm. That's some kind of future colony. Anyways. It looks like we stopped this just as we got the... Uh, Ross. Yeah, that's fine. So, we're gonna be doing some mining again, I guess. That's how it goes when the game crashes on you. Grumble. Not sure what the hell happened, but it crashed. That means we have to harvest this planet again and the new colony site. Okay, want to go another silicon somewhere. Do I care? Yes, I do care. Drop all the aliens. Oh, we crashed on one of those. <laughs> Get out of the way, aliens. Mining ship coming through. And there we go. Okay, so we've been to this one. That means we have not mined these two. I think. Or have we? No, we've been there. Okay, in that case, we've probably been to the other one, too. To Ebru. Okay, fine, then. So we've been to all of these, then. Okay, so it crashed us just as we were landing on this one. Or as we left the system. Um, and the autosave was just before we mined this planet. That's fine, then. So I assume the autosaves whenever we land on another planet, then. Looks that way now. Anyways, off we go. And then we engage the darn hyperdrive thing. So we do have multiple uh, colony sites. But we have no way to use it. Oh well, um, I don't know. I'm sure it'll come up someday. So this is where we can go. This is what crashed us last time, let's try. Did we run out of fuel? I don't think so. Just crashed about here-ish. We got here with plenty of fuel to spare, so that's fine. Um, okay, there's definitely someone here. Coming straight for us. Ah, uh, well, the Cassinti again. <laughs> Look here. It's the damnably well-armed new aliens everyone's talking about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're known for that. Well then, plenty to salvage. Okay. Um... I want to go with this one and just see. I like this one certainly because it has insane range. And that's why. <laughs> range wins. Uh, the Taiwan ships are much more close range. I like their auto turrets though. But against those pirates? I mean, they only attack with short-range thingy-bob, so you just sit still and act like a turret. And it's gonna be that much easier. Anyways. Um, yeah, let's run on this rock. This one's fairly tiny. Come on, pull the crater. Of the mountain. 
can leapfrog across it now <laughs> with our little jump jets. Okay, we're done. Plutonic. Okay, let's turn around and scoot. Ah, wrong planet. Let's try to scoot a little bit away before we actually go into the uh, other planet there. Nagato. Hmm, tiny bit of helium. Yeah, sure, we'll land. I mean, it's safe, right? Except for all the huge storms right, raiding across the planet. Let's try to avoid those and we'll be fine. Eventually we'll have everything we need. We'll have a much better starship. Might take a while though. That said, the grind still isn't, doesn't feel anywhere near as bad as it was in Star Control 2. And I know I was supposed to shut up about that, about that game a long, for a long time now. But I can't. Nostalgia and all. Maybe someday I'll play that game just to compare the two. That sort of depends on how many people actually view this thing. <laughs> or, or would like to see some game Star Control 2 gameplay. I don't know. You tell me. For now, I'm enjoying this game. I really am. I very much like the round planets. I really do. So, even if you go in the wrong direction, so to speak, you're still going to be able to find your way. Though that was... Yeah, I, I shouldn't talk about Star Control True, but again, that was also represented in that game. By a flat... For, uh, a flat... Uh, 2D map. But, um, as far as I can remember, at least, no matter what edge you went to, you would basically... Continue driving around. So that basically meant that in that game, all the plants were donuts, toroid shapes. And oh, well, anyways. Mm hmm, that was Koshka. That's a gas giant. Most likely. Yeah, and there's a plant on the other side, or moon. Gallifrey. Uh, no, I can't turn on this one. Let's zoom out a bit, please. Something up here. Kutnak. Mm, yeah, that looks fine. And an unidentified object. I mean, we are here looking for the... Uh, what's his faces? The superhumans. So, who knows? That could be theirs. Found a wrecked ship, Captain. Nope. We'll see if we can get this thing flying again. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go over here first, I guess. silicon compounds, but oh. Oh, well, they're right near the landing landing spot, so whoopsie-daisy. We might have to head straight back to Earth after this. Because of our fuel reserves. Oh. Look at this planet. Holy smokes, look at this planet. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Holy smoly. I think this is the one that they... Uh, those folks came from. Oh my, my goodness. But I, I think this is where they went, yeah. With the unidentified object. We'll see about that. First though, I have to just load up all the goodies. Of which there are in insane quantity here. It's actually difficult to find them all. Because there's so much... So much brightness going on here. I 
Okay, this kind of sells it then. It's much better to pursue uh, quest objectives because you're going to be actually going to be finding all the goodie systems. Uh, 250, we, that's our, no, our capacity is 300. But we'll definitely be making multiple trips here, so. Yeah, let's get up now. We'll have to make at least four trips here. see the, all the objects we're picking up. <laughs> I'm enjoying this though. I completely actually forgot to look for uh, anything hostile like drones. But there's only critters here so we should be fine. Oh, uh, uh, whoopsie daisy. Let's avoid that twister. goodies. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine heading back to Earth after this. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to have a full cargo hold at this rate. I was hoping to find another jump gate up this way, but uh, well, I guess it's not going to be that far. It's probably going to be closer to the... Uh, the mad dogs. Whatever you want to call them. Den, 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 den. I forget. Okay, um, let's head back up. There's the shinies. Give me shinies. Ah, come on. It's ways. Let's get out over here. And that one, that one. My goodness. So many goodies. Must catch them all. I certainly don't regret coming to this place now. Even though it was a bit out of the way. Okay, triangles over here. Are we doing on space? No, I still have a little bit left. Mm, well, I guess we'll go topside now and we'll uh, do one more trip. Now we can go and investigate the object too. This was a nice planet. I want more of these. So let's see, is that the scene to one of those ruins? Captain, we found a crashed ship here. No. It's alien, but there's human stuff here. Those canisters? Yeah, that's English. These aliens have human stuff, Captain. Were they spying on us? Or were they doing something with Alexites? Trading, maybe? There's a message here. Translator looks like it can make something out of it. Mm-hmm. 
What do you make of that, Captain? Okay, это Леворен. Well, we found a few mm. things here that might be of some use to us. We'll take it and head back to the ship. Okay, found a few resource units, that's fine. And a new system location, apparently. Well, that's fine then. So now it's just a matter of cleaning, cleaning house here. Something over there. Okay, just a few more deposits and we're done with this planet. So I assume we found a new, new location to go to then. This Eta whatever. Eta Livoren or something. Oh, come on. No, no, don't turn me around. Here, there we go, and we're done. That was a damn good haul. Oh my goodness, it almost filled up our entire, uh, entire hull. Excellent. Uh, let's see, where have we been already? We've been to these two. Uh, we've been to this one, haven't we? Me and my three second memory. Good knock, I've been there. We haven't been to these, I think. Yeah, we came in from the south. So I need to go through these three. These uh, orbits. Yeah. Anything here? No. <laughs> Not a location to go to. I don't want to risk the landers. There's no point in risking the landers. Uh, and this place looks fine. Lots of small deposits. But hey, we just need to fill up our hole before we go back to Earth. So I'm fine with that. So I guess we are going to pursue our quest then. We're going to head into the, the hostile area of space. The ones that only obey orders. Let's see if we can find their home planet. I don't think we can get there unless we find some refueling station on the way, though. But there's bound to be more space stations out there. Bound to be. Come on, come on. Let's go. Vroom. And um, when we return to Earth, we'll have a ton of resources. Because this time around, it's not just all junk, it's actually some pretty good stuff. Right. I think it is, at least. Uh, we upgraded our hull to 3000, didn't we? Yeah, we're gonna have plenty of space. Now I just need to find a way to increase our fuel capacity. I'm sure there's a, mod a module for that too. Anything to increase our range. Did you flip the... <laughs> I think we did a somersault there. Okay, last iron deposit. And we're done. Mm -hmm. There's a moon here. Let's go and investigate. Trenzalor. Oh, looks like a good looks like a lot of good stuff here as well. If we can land in a upper zone, a bit a bit rocky this one. All the craters. Oh well. We have jump jets, I'm not too worried about it.
Whee! About the craters. Oh, about the loot too. That's gonna be no problematic. Jumping over the craters, not a problem. Jumping over the, jumping past the loot, big problem. Let's scoot around this one. What that sound must be that the fact that we're passing the ship. I don't know. Huge noise. I think it's because the, the ship ends up behind our camera angle or something. Now that ship's on there. Hmm, I don't know. No matter. On the planet, scour clean. And there was something on the northern side here. We've been to these planets. We've been to this one. Weren't we? Yeah. Again, I have a gnat memory for these things. That's why I really wish the interface would indicate. Have you been to this planet? Have, is there anything loot left here? Was not like this should like light up or something? Anything to indicate that you've been there? Just that would be helpful. So we didn't have to, you know, head all the way over there. We really need to get something to want to defend ourselves against this thing, but we don't have it. Fine. Two and a half thousand units in the storage. There weren't any stars right next to this one. And I think we've been to all this all the planets in this system. I'm gonna assume that the uh, uh Lexite objective slogs changed. Yeah. Etalvoren system. Let's have a look where the hell that is. Etalvoren. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get there anytime soon. That's fine. We definitely need to increase our fuel range. If we're gonna... Wait a second, is that a star base? No. Uh, we're kind of out of fuel. Ah, uh, we're gonna head all the way to home, I think. I could try to visit the other stars here, but uh, I don't want to risk it. I'm probably gonna do that next, try to find a way there and see if we can find some sort of defueling arrangement. Oh yeah, since we now have two planets that can, can be colonized. Uh, are they listed in the objective slog? Also only one. Oh well. Back to Earth, I guess. We had a couple, of, a couple of hundred units of fuel to spare, I suppose, but yeah. I assume that there's a way to. I assume there's a way to uh, get out of get out of trouble if you're out of fuel as well. I don't know. Well, that's the uh, vessel, dang it. I didn't mean to talk to you. Oh well. It's our good friends, the humans. Mm -hmm. What's up, good friends? Um, <laughs> good friends. I thought we were best friends. We've been reading a book on how to act cooler. Seeming less desperate, that kind of thing. <laughs> Want to hang out and read it with us? Um. See you later, best friends. Oh, there we go. Now we're back to best friends. Anyways, I'm trying to hail Earth. There we go. Or start control. Welcome back, Captain. Mm-hmm. Um... About what? Yeah, we're still on the same mission, so that's fine. Anything else, Captain? Shipyard time. 
I'm gonna sell all our basic stuffs. Uh, we're gonna sell that stuff up too. Buy fuel. And then I don't know. Um, there are still some components we don't have, I assume. More crew quarters, more cargo pods, more docking bays. A deflector. Do I want to start building up the ship for actual, you know, combat? I'm curious though if you could buy multiple of these things. Let's try. I'm gonna buy another heat shield. I just want to see. I have two heat shields. I want to see then if we if we actually have uh, like four assistants next time we land. Because then I suppose we could do that for the uh, lander. Use another one of those uh, toxic filters. I don't know. We'll find out. That was the cheapest way for me to test that, so... Mm. Don't need the battle systems. No scanners available. Yeah, we'll save our money for a rainy day, I suppose. We might find another star base with some cool stuff, so... And, uh, we're just gonna test if uh, stacking modules actually works for the uh, landers. Unfortunately, I'm all... All the pods that are filled up now. Oh well. Time for a break. Thank you for watching.